welcome back to my youtube channel my name is amanda and today i'm going to be showing you how i made this beautiful dress so guys let's get started i've gone ahead to cut out a part, part of my dress this is just a basic bodice i've also gone ahead to cut out the skirt part of the dress i decided to go for a full circle skirt just because i want the dress to be really full I have a well detailed tutorial on how to make a full circle skirt on my channel. I'm going to link that video to this video. You can watch that video if you don't know how to make a full circle skirt. <laughs> yeah, I'm just cutting out the tool for the skirt part of my dress. For this tutorial, I actually used about 20 meters of tool. For the skirt part of the dress you don't have to use up to 20 meters of two you can use less than 20 meters of two but let me have that the less tool you you use for the dress the less full your dress is going to turn out to be for the third tier of the skirt part of the dress i used a tool that is about six inches wide as you can see that is what i'm cutting out in this video you just keep cutting six inches wide tool until you finish cutting all the tool i used about nine meters of tool for just the third layer of the skirt part of the dress here i'm cutting out the tool for the first and second layer of the skirt part of the dress i'm cutting out a tool that is 14 inches wide this is because i'm still going to fold this over and this will reduce the measurement to seven inches when we are done Here I'm just folding over my two here. So for the first and second layer of my skirt, I actually folded the tool over. This is just to give it an extra neat finish. Yeah, I'm just placing one of the folded tool on another of the folded tool. This is just to give you that extra volume. You don't have to do it this way. You can use one of the folded tool and you don't even have to fold the tool at all. If you don't want it to be this full, you can just use the single layer. I just really want this dress to be really full. That's why I'm doing it this way. So this is actually totally up to you. done folding the tool and placing each two strip on each other the next thing we are going to do is to gather each of the strip you have to gather it as much as you can i'm going to show you what one of the strip would look like when you're done gathering one When you're 
done gathering your strip, it should give you something like this. The strip I gathered was about 110 inches long and it gave me about 10 inches when I when I was done gathering it. So guys, you, this just gives you an idea of how, how much you should gather your strip in order to achieve the fullness. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish gathering all my strips and I'm going to show you what it looks like when I'm done gathering all my strips and all the colors I'm using. Okay guys, so I'm done gathering all my two. This is where the work is to be honest. It took a very long time to finish gathering almost 20 meters of two, but yeah, the result is fantastic and I'm I'm liking what I'm seeing. I've gone ahead to gather everything. I've gathered purple, I've gathered the pink, and I've gathered the light pink, and it came out really nice. So I'm just going to set this aside. I've also gone ahead to mark my skirt. As you can see here, I marked my skirt in two places and that's where I'm just going to place my tool. I, so you have to decide how far apart you want the tool to be and that will determine where you are going to mark your, your skirt. So I'm going to put the, the first layer on the waist, the second layer of tool there and the last layer of tool will just be right there. So the next thing is that you're going to go ahead again and kind of join the the opening of the zip just join it together this is just to make it easy for us to kind of place the the two on the skirt when we are making the skirt okay guys so i've gone ahead to join my skirt together as you can see i've also gone ahead to join the zipper opening of my skirt this is temporarily as i'm going to open it up when i'm done putting the uh, second and third tier of two this is just to make it easy for me to attach the two i've also gone ahead to overlock the raw edge of my skirt i'm actually going to leave it this way if you don't have an overlocker you can just roll the m twice just like that it's going to give you the same result <music> Here comes the fun part where we start placing our tool on our skirt. So I'm just going to go ahead and place the third layer of my tool on my skirt just like that. I'm just going to place the purple on the third layer. I'm going to place it using the guide we made earlier and I'm going to secure it down with the pin all the way around. Now take the skirt to the sewing machine and stitch it down all the way around. Here I'm just placing the second layer of my tool on my skirt using the second line we made. When placing the second layer of your tool, make sure that it is long enough to cover the starting point of the third layer. Just placing the first layer of my tool on my skirt. Make sure that the first layer of your tool is long enough to also cover the starting point of the second layer of the tool. <music> When 
stitching the first layer of your tool make sure that you start from after the zipper allowance this is so that your tool won't get caught in your zipper after you've attached it to the skirt to iron the fusible interface on the neckline of the bodies of the dress and also on the lining of the bodies of the dress i've also gonna add to pin the front and the back of the bodies of the dress and also for the lining of the dress so the next thing we are going to do is to stitch the uh, shoulder down and stitch the side down for both the bodies itself and for the lining <laughs> I'm just joining the upper part of the dress to the lower part of the dress. That is what I'm doing here. Okay guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and insert the zipper and the lining into the dress and I'm going to go ahead and finish up the dress and show you what the final look of this dress looks like. I'm gonna add to finish up the dress, I've also gonna add to unstitch the applique on the dress. The dress came out really really nice. What do you guys think? We've come to the end of our video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it this far. Thank you so much guys for watching. You guys should kindly subscribe to my channel. Until next time guys, my name is Amanda and you too can too. Bye now!